Hi, Charles Bowman here. Well, we got our first snow, and I felt kind of sorry for our uh, range runner. And it's a great camper. We're not getting rid of it, though people still think we are. And I kind of feel sorry for it because it usually stays in the garage, and soon it will get back in there when we get the ship lap done. And we'll get you back in there soon, camper. We, we don't name our campers. If you do, that's okay. So don't expect us to come up with a cute name. Thanks for watching. So I'm working on both edges at the cargo door in the back, and I'll show you more at the back in a minute. But um, I just finished uh, putting in that narrow piece of wood right along there. And then you see the blue tape where the drill bit case is. And right in that area, right in there, is where I'll be building a box. And then the smaller cabinet, like that one from Home Depot, that'll hold the sink. So I've been working on the, the trim there, and you saw I put the thin piece of wood here. I've um, we used to have, I had the wood actually curved going along with the shape here. And so that curve was nice, but there's no way you're going to make this trim work with it. So uh, last night I just said forget it and I cut it all the way across. It was a little tricky because I got these support pieces. And so then I've got this piece of wood that I bought at Home Depot at where you find the quarter round and all that. Just a thin piece of wood. I've got a couple uh, coats and I, on the back side and on the front side I'm painting uh, with kills. May put I may put some other paint on too. It's trim woodwork, but this came in today and um, much wider and it um, I haven't, don't have a cut yet. But this is what I was going to use on the side door, and we thought, well, we don't care if it doesn't match. It's not important. It looks so nice. It's going to just finish this off so much better and go so nice. It's kind of a dark bronze, and so. Um, this will go match the floor so much better. So I just went ahead and ordered a second piece, and so uh, this is going to just dress it up, make it look really nice. Fun. We've been in and out. It is cold out here, but that's okay. Um, today, uh, got the piece on the back there. I haven't put the trim on yet. And then today, I built this box, and it's one piece here. And then let me hold the door here. You can see there's a, like a box there. And really, no need to put a top on it because there's a floor on this, of course. And so uh, this turned out really well. It's great support for it. And uh, I think I'll probably put a trim piece there. And then I'll have that wide uh, trim that's going to go there. So I can get that all finished off. Well, Susie helped me get this box done. Uh, it still needs a little bit of more painting. And what's all this about? Well, when I put the box up in here, it just it was close. But it, it, these bumps were holding it out farther than I, than I wanted it. And... Um, Another thing I need to do is I need to paint these with kills, several coats, even though they really won't be subjected to whether they're going to be really covered up. It's still a good idea to, to cover it, so I'll need to do that. But uh, yesterday I fell on the deck, off the deck, and I thought I broke my ankle. And it's much better today, but while I was um, with my foot up and drinking coffee, um, Susie went out, and I didn't know it. She came out, and she went ahead and routed these for me. So it fits in great nice and tight and I you can almost get by with this trim but it just barely gets all over on the linoleum so I, I'm just I'm gonna be much more satisfied with this piece here uh, we're gonna use minimal uh, nails or screws um, I actually did a test yesterday with liquid nails with um, a piece of it on on wood this is the same plywood half inch you could not get this off <laughs> I mean it's on so good but it's a little bit too cold for it. It's supposed to be 40 degrees on up for almost any adhesive. So we may use liquid nails or we may use uh, some JB Weld stuff that you mix up. Haven't decided yet, but I'm going to wait. In a few days, it's supposed to be almost 50 and sunny. So I'm just going to wait. There's no big rush. So uh, again, this, this will be all covered and then a separate piece there and there. So all I have left to do out here, though it's too cold to do all of it, is uh, need to paint this little extra piece I put in here. Uh, I can go ahead and cut this hole out a little bit bigger. Here's the desk grommet that's going to go in here. And so on this trim, in order to make it fit, I have to just clamp this piece in, inside the garage on a piece of wood. And I will uh, be cutting out about half of this hole to finish. And then this will fit in. And I'll put some kind of rubber stop there. And then we have access to the... Um, release for the spare tire. So that's going to look great. So I just have a, this rectangle to cut out and I put the gasket on here 
and I was almost, I was thinking, I thought, what, what, something's not right here. I knew, I found out, oh, don't cut around the outside of the gasket because then this will fall right through. <laughs> so it's inside the gasket and I actually, I'm going to cut inside there because I've got some leeway there. So I get that and then the outlet, regular outlet will be right there. So as you walk in, hit the switch, turn the lights on or anything else that will eventually be wired up to these switches. Could be some outdoor lights as well. We'll see how that goes. So let me slide this over just a couple holes, but we'll see. I might do a time lapse. It's just a couple of holes. Well, I did make a huge mess, but most of it went inside here, so I'll, this, I'll, I really will clean it up. I won't leave it to Susie. So I got this in. I don't know if you caught it. it. When I was cutting, finishing the cut here, I realized I need a little more to fit this in because it fits in, of course, underneath like that. And I walked around and trimmed on this top. And all of a sudden, I went, why am I trimming there? And then I came over here. There was, it wasn't even tape on it. Just what, you know, that's one of those things where you, every day, normal life, you, get, you distract yourself. I had enough leeway, so it, it makes no difference. It's, I've got a solid place to screw this in, so I'm, I'm okay. So, uh, glad to get this done. Now I'm going to mark the um, countertop on the, the blank that we've got, the pine, not butcher block, just a, a lot thinner that'll look nice. So are you sure that's where you would like that, Mrs. Moman? Hopefully. <laughs> switch panel with a 12 volt and USB port so when we open up the door I'll walk in turn that on and the four puck lights will, will turn on right there uh, probably the water pump the the jewel system will probably be on one of these switches as well some put them up here but I think I'm gonna have it around here and then my uh, ground fault outlet right there and um, all I have to do to, when I do the wiring is I can just undo the screws pull it out run my wires up so I'm not upside down working inside there so that that won't be a problem and uh, pretty soon it'll be in there permanently and you hear again is that gap and Susie is probably going to have a piece of wood we're still keeping the, the where the, the drawer goes in and out we're keeping the hardware in there so it's about right there the slide I guess what you call it, the rail and so she, I think she's going to have a piece of wood going down that rail and then coming up here and she'll fancy it up a little bit and uh, today I think I'm going to take out uh, this piece and uh, route around the edges to, to smooth that off. And I found out my shower head is coming next week and pretty soon the rest of the jewel to system. So uh, I'll be excited to get that already and then I'll do a video just about that. And uh, so this has turned out looking nice. And Susie's uh, doing some touch up on the drawer front that will go in here. And uh, we'll, put, we'll put that on there since we obviously can't use it as a drawer anymore. So I think it's going to look great. about the edging on the, the doors, uh, at both doors, and um, doing the simple install on that cabinet for the kitchen area. Um, and now that it's cold weather, we're in and out a lot. I, I have our pellet stove running quite a bit. We love that. We remodeled this about, I don't know, four years ago. This was a dark room with only two windows, and we put in a bunch of windows, totally re-insulated. Um, and uh, it's, we now love being out here. And so. Um, I spent a lot of time here watching YouTube videos, which reminds me I need to get my video ready for you of about six to eight channels that I would highly suggest you look at. You may not base your build on all of it on one channel, and we certainly didn't, but there are several where I have gotten one idea or just kind of the concept of how they're doing things. Uh, just very helpful, and it's fun watching uh, some people do their van builds. So sometimes I have my computer here, I'm in my office a lot. Uh, but this is a great place to come in and warm up now when we're uh, outside and uh, I keep that garage as warm as I can for Susie and now that I've got power I can plug things into the camper without running extension cord through a window or a door it makes it a lot easier as well so there'll be another video coming up shortly of Susie talking about the windows and she's figured that all out so she's doing final extra painting on those to protect them 
and then I can get them installed. And she's nearly off the second bed platform done as well. So I probably should have one little video out before then. But if not, hope you have a, a great Christmas and be safe. And thanks for watching.